Texas Democratic State Representative Rafael Anchia. Uh, thank you, Representative, for being with us today. So when one of the president stops today, the crowd, and I, I heard this while it was happening, the crowd can be heard calling to him to, quote, do something. And the president turned to them and he mouthed, we will. Now, I, as many folks know, I know the president personally, and I know that Sandy Hook was a real inflection, uh, inflection point for him. He never wanted to be in this place as commander in chief. No president does. And I have no doubt that the president wants to do something. The, the question is, what can the president do, and, and what do you want him to do? Uh, Simone, thanks for having me, um, and thank you for uh, being part of the Texas family in helping us grieve this massacre. We're so grateful that President Biden came down to uh, act in his role as consoler in chief. Regrettably, it's happening too often, as you pointed out. We, we weren't even done um, grieving Buffalo and the families that were were uh, massacred there, and now we are having to grieve the the families in El Paso, or excuse me, in in Uvalde. Uh, you know, the president uh, needs to really uh, whip the the Senate pretty hard. I mean, that mm -hmm. that filibuster of 60 votes, as it has been with voting rights and so many other um, uh, issues that we've needed to to protect people um, has fallen short. So we really need for the U.S. Senate and the president to act. I know the House has already acted. And then we need to be doing things at the state level as well. I serve in the state house. Texas is the ninth largest economy in the world, and we're very proud to be Texans. But uh, we have not acted. Uh, the, the Republicans in the state legislature that hold majorities uh, in, in both chambers have stopped virtually all gun safety legislation um, going all the way back. And I've been serving for nine terms, going all the way back as far as I can remember. Mm. So I want to I want to ask you about that, because one of your colleagues, Texas State Senator Roland Gutierrez, he interrupted Governor Greg Abbott's press conference on Friday. And I, I was watching that and he, he really was pleading for a special legislative session. I want folks to take a look. My colleagues are asking for a special session. You're getting a letter tomorrow. In the talk of the Senate Democratic Caucus, we've asked to bring control for the changes. I'm asking you now to bring this back. Representative, yesterday I spoke with Congresswoman Veronica Escobar. As you know, she represents El Paso. And notably, after the shooting there in 2019, Governor Abbott refused to call a special session. So do you think he will do so this time around? And if so, will legislation actually come from the special session? You know, I'm not hopeful. And, and you alluded to the fact that people are frustrated in Uvalde and, and angry. Candidly, the, the governor was booed uh, when he came to the memorial today. And uh, people are, are, are incredibly frustrated. I, I thought that in 2016, uh, when we mourn something that we call in Dallas 7-7, um, where uh, five police officers were, were gunned down using a rifle that was bought in the parking lot of a big box store. I thought we'd see action then. Then we had the Santa Fe school shooting uh, in, in the Houston area. I thought we'd see action then. Then we had the El Paso Walmart shooting that was motivated by uh, a, a, a white supremacist that wanted to uh, kill Mexicans because he thought there was an invasion. Uh, that rhetoric continues by Governor Abbott. So. Uh, I'm not hopeful, to be honest with you. The one response to the school shootings and to the El Paso shooting and to the uh, uh, murdering of law enforcement officers has been to loosen restrictions on uh, on gun ownership. In fact, this last session, in response to El Paso, we didn't engage in gun safety debates. What we did is we passed permitless carry. That means that someone without training and without um, uh, a background check can open carry in the state of Texas. So I wish at the state level, uh, people would engage in, in discussions of common sense, gun safety. I'm not optimistic. So what is the answer then, um, Representative? People in not just Texas, but across the country, they are upset. And I think that there is a responsibility of state legislators to do something about it. Also, the United States Congress. You've authored at least eight of the 50 bills that have been introduced in Texas to do something about gun reform. What is the answer? So I'll tell you, uh, the, the one bill that got passed was a very simple common sense bill that said, you know, you can't open carry a firearm on the tarmac of a commercial airport. That passed the House, passed the Senate, but guess who vetoed it? Governor Abbott. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and ultimately, if even that simple common sense 
measure cannot pass. It has to come from the federal level, or we need to change leadership in the state of Texas. And that's what I'm hoping we do this November. Uh, Greg Abbott has not fulfilled his promises after the Santa Fe shooting, where he said this would never happen again. In fact, he has not even taken seriously the discussions regarding closing the gun show loophole, ending private sales without uh, a, a background check. Um, uh, even simple nothing, nothing. high capacity not even the I mean, magazine. Nothing, nothing. He hasn't nothing, done nothing. anything, Just honestly. Just in the opposite direction, in fact. And we're all, we're all pulling our hair out and saying, something's got to change. So we either need to do something at the federal level or we need to change out Greg Abbott. Mm, all right. Representative Rafi Anchia, thank you very much, sir, for being here.